Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the fog thickens around our young adventurers, Lila Hawthorne and her friends. They stand at the edge of their greatest challenge yet, with the air crackling with tension. This chapter promises to be a journey filled with mystery, courage, and the quest for truth. Join us as we delve into the heart of the mist, where whispers of the past echo and ignite a fierce determination within our heroes. Stay tuned as we unravel the secrets hidden within the fog. The fog swirled like a living entity around Lila Hawthorne, her wild auburn curls dancing in the breeze. Her bright green eyes scanned the misty expanse before them, filled with determination. Beside her, Oliver Finch clutched a small mechanical device that glimmered faintly in the dim light. The boy with tousled brown hair and round glasses felt a surge of confidence. He had always been the quiet observer, but now, standing beside Lila, he felt the weight of his inventions, tools that could bridge the gap between the living and the spirits. Mabel Jenkins, with her sharp brown eyes reflecting both fear and resolve, stood at a crossroads. Her neat braid and practical attire spoke of her cautious nature. Yet today, she was torn between loyalty to her community and the truth they sought. As the children stepped deeper into the fog, the atmosphere shifted, and a low, mournful wail echoed through the mist, sending shivers down their spines. A vengeful spirit materialized before them, a swirling mass of fog with flickering lights that resembled eyes. Its voice was a haunting melody of sorrow and anger. The spirit's pain was palpable, a heavy weight that threatened to consume them all. Why do you disturb my rest? The spirit's voice boomed, reverberating through the air like thunder. Lila felt her heart race, but she stood firm, her resolve hardening. We want to help you find peace, she declared, her voice steady despite the fear clawing at her insides. Mabel stepped forward, her internal conflict bubbling to the surface. But at what cost? She questioned, her voice trembling. The spirit's anger flared, and the fog thickened, swirling violently around them. Lila reached out, her hand brushing against Oliver's grounding herself in their shared purpose. Together, they had to confront the spirit's grief, to unravel the threads of its sorrow and help it find closure. As the confrontation escalated, the children realized that the spirit's pain was intertwined with their own insecurities and fears. They had to work together, to face not only the spirit's anguish but their own. Lila's heart raced as she recalled the stories of her ancestors, the sacrifices made in the fields, the losses that had shaped their community. In that moment, Lila understood that confronting the past was not just about uncovering truths. It was about healing. The fog began to lift, revealing glimpses of the vibrant town of Eldergrove beyond, a symbol of hope and renewal. With newfound determination, Lila, Oliver, and Mabel joined hands, their voices rising in unison as they called out to the spirit, offering understanding and compassion. The spirit paused, its swirling form quivering as it absorbed their words. The tension in the air shifted, and for the first time, the children saw a flicker of recognition in the spirit's eyes. They had taken the first step towards healing, not just for the spirit, but for themselves and their community.